The Titanic was a passenger ship that set out on its maiden voyage on April 10th, 1912 from Southampton in England. On the night of April 14th until the early hours of April 15th, the Titanic struck an iceberg and sunk to its watery grave in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The Wreck of the Titan, or Futility, by Morgan Robertson, tells the story of a ship called the Titan that strikes an iceberg in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Now this book came out in 1898, which was 14 years before the Titanic sunk. Did this book predict the sinking of the Titanic 14 years before it actually happened, well, I read this book just to find out the similarities and the differences between The Wreck of the Titan and The Wreck of the Titanic. Hi, I'm Gavin from How To Your Gavin. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. So yeah, every April I always think about the Titanic. I have always been interested in the history of the Titanic from how it was made to how it sunk on that fateful night of April 15th, 1912. And it was probably partly because of how much I adore the James Cameron film from 1997, starring Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, it is one of my favourite movies of all time. But that film did embed in me some kind of fascinating fascination with the Titanic and the passengers aboard it. When I found out that this book existed, I knew I had to give it a read. Not only am I interested in what actually happened for the Titanic, but also I've been fascinated by a lot of the conspiracies. So this has popped up every now and then because of the creepy similarities between the Titan from the story and the Titanic. So I read this book recently to find out what the similarities and the differences are, and I will say that there are a lot of really creepy similarities that I'm about to go through, but also this, well pretty much a novella, it's a very short story, this does diverge so much from that as well that really the sinking of the Titan is just a very small part of this book. I've done a lot of research on Google, which is probably not the best. <laughs> I mean, I'm no expert in the Titanic or anything like that, so please take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt. Any information I do pull up, I will be linking down below so that you can shout at them if this information is wrong. Please don't shout at me. So right from the very beginning of this book, the Titan is described to us in a way that is very creepily similar to the way the Titanic was perceived when that was first made, when it first made the headlines. So in Wreck of the Titan it says, she was the largest craft afloat and the greatest of the works of men. So back in April 1912, the Titanic was not just the biggest passenger ship in the world, but also the biggest ship ever built. We already have our first similarity from the very first line, but of course, again, that could just be, you know, coincidence, you know, this is from the imagination of Morgan Robertson, you know, the biggest ship in the world, why not? What is more creepy and more directly related to the Titanic is one of the last paragraphs from the first page where it says, from the bridge, edge and room, and a dozen places on her deck, the 92 doors of 19 watertight compartments, there were 16 on the Titanic, could be closed in half a minute by turning a lever. These doors would also close automatically in the presence of water. With nine compartments flooded, the ship would still float for the Titanic would be four, and as no known accident of the sea could possibly fill this many, the steamship Titan was considered practically unsinkable. Now one of the biggest things about the Titanic is that when it was built, it was literally called unsinkable, and Edward John Smith himself even said, even God himself couldn't sink this ship. The fact that the Titan is literally word for word saying it is practically unsinkable just shows the similarities between the cockiness of both statements. I mean there are a lot of reasons why the Titanic sunk and why the Titan sinks and a lot of it is due to arrogance and self-assurance that the ship would not be able to sink. So no matter what would happen they would be able to go into the open ocean and arrive at its destination without any problems. So we have that exact same parallel between the Titanic and the Titan literally from the first page. One thing I found that was quite eerie as well, is that on the second page it says she carried no combustible cargo to threaten her destruction by fire. On the Titanic, there was actually a fire that began in one of the Titanic's coal bunkers about 10 days before the ship actually set off on its maiden voyage. This fire actually continued to burn as the Titanic set off. Some people theorise that the fire in the coal bunker was actually part of why the Titanic sank. It was because the fire had caused some structural damage to the hull. I mean, that has been contested, but I did find that that line it struck out to me for some reason, especially since it said nothing could threaten the destruction by fire. And that was mainly just because I knew about the, the fire that happened in the coal bunker. So I just, I don't know why, but I kind of put two and two together. It was another little strange similarity there, I guess. So there are some differences and similarities to the ship and the, the details of the ship. So the Titan is 800 feet long and the Titanic was 882 feet long and nine inches. Even though the Titanic was 82 feet bigger, it's still in that kind of range. And the Titan would go to 
to 25 knots an hour, whereas the Titanic will go to a maximum of 23 knots an hour. Now the whole lifeboat situation is extremely similar in the Titan as well. Unsinkable, indestructible, she carried as few boats as would satisfy the laws. The Titanic also didn't put enough lifeboats on for everybody, however they did put enough on to satisfy the maritime law at the time, because they felt that it would clutter the decks and that it wouldn't be as appealing to the first class passengers who would come on board. There are 24 lifeboats on the Titan, whereas on the Titanic there were only 16 lifeboats and 4 collapsible boats, so there were actually less lifeboats on the Titanic than there was on this fictional Titan. Another similarity is how many passengers are on board this ship as well. So there are actually 2,000 passengers aboard the Titan and that could, you know, be up to interpretation. I guess Morgan probably didn't want to give a specific number as more of a, a rounded number, but there were 2,208 passengers on the Titanic. So again, it's still in that range of 2,000 passengers that were on both ships. Another really creepy instance of similarity is the fact that the Titan is on a volume in the middle of April. Some were seated in steamer chairs, well wrapped, for though it was April, the salt air was chilly. So the Titanic did set off on its maiden voyage on April 10th, struck the iceberg on the night of April 14th, and sank in the early hours of April 15th. To have both of these set during April, again, is another really strange and very bizarre similarity. Now something else that I find a bit of a coincidence, but it's not a similarity, is that during the voyage of the Titan, it actually strikes another a smaller ship and it actually splits it in half and that ship ends up sinking and there's this weird story I mean it's a it's an interesting story about the captain trying to cover that up so while that didn't actually happen with the Titanic the Titanic didn't actually slice through another smaller boat when Captain Smith on the Titanic on April 10th while it was in the port of Southampton he did order the propellers to start which actually started to bring a smaller ship towards the Titanic so before the Titanic even set off on its maiden voyage it almost collided with another ship Ship. Fortunately, Captain Smith ended up reversing the propellers so that the smaller ship could get away. But I mean, I'm probably reading too much into that, but it was really eerie the fact that the Titanic almost crashed into a smaller ship, whereas the Titan did crash into a smaller ship. And not just that, but that ship did split in half, just like as we know from the wreck of the Titanic, that the Titanic also split in half. The collision with the iceberg happens on page 26 of my edition of the wreck of the Titan, so it happens pretty early on. There are only seven pages of this but this does happen pretty early on in the story. Another similarity is how a lookout is the one who spotted the ice and how they shouted it out. So on the Titanic Frederick Fleet was the lookout and he was the one who rang the bell to proclaim iceberg right ahead. So in the story again it is the lookout who spots it and he sees ice ice ahead, iceberg, right under the bows. So, I mean, again, I, obviously that's what they would have shouted. So, like, the similarities are more slightly coincidence. But again, Lookout spotted it, tried to warn that there was an iceberg right ahead, iceberg ahead, ice ahead. But it was too late for both the Titan and the Titanic. It was too late to save the ship. So around 1,500 people died aboard the Titanic. It doesn't specify the exact number in this story. It does indicate that most of the people on this ship did, in fact, fact perish, just like how most of the people on the Titanic also perished. That is pretty much all of the segments with the Titan, and I guess where all of the similarities lie. I mean, this story takes a really weird turn, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, it takes a really weird turn. Because we do follow Roland who works on the Titan, but he is saved by jumping onto the ice caps. He ends up fighting a polar bear and winning, and he saved a young girl as well, and they do end up surviving. I'm not going to go into that because that obviously didn't happen in the real life tragedy of the Titanic. This story does, yeah, it does really take a bizarre turn. But the amount of similarities with this and the Titanic disaster are extremely creepy, like to me personally. But I can't get over the fact that the Titan is literally two letters away from being Titanic. It sank on an April. It strikes an iceberg in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It was described as unsinkable. It has very similar kind of passenger counts and fatality count. Things like that it really does make me feel a little bit creeped out. This has some kind of foreshadowing, like 
I don't know. I really don't know. Part of me believes that this did foretell the sinking of the Titanic, but another part of me is thinking this was just a coincidence. But, you know, I'm going to leave that up to you. What do you think? Do you think that this book foretold the sinking of the Titanic 14 years before it happened? Or was it just a mere coincidence that the two ships have similar names and perished in pretty much the same way and in the same place? Let me know everything in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.